Hey guys, hope you're well. Uh, I just wanted to just wanted to uh, kind of give you guys an update on how everything's going here in Dubai. Uh, it's an amazing experience. Um, it's really an amazing experience. I wanted to, I wanted to, yeah, thank everybody involved because um, it means a lot. I I've been here, I think, two complete days now. No, three, two nights. I'm so confused how long I've been here. It's two complete days. I don't know. The reason I'm confused is I'm tired. Uh, the sleep has been difficult with the, the time zone change. I think I slept four hours uh, the first night and maybe four hours again the second night. And on the with the travel bef before it... Um, on the on the flight it was crazy but anyway i've slept very little uh compared to what i should have but i've had such a good time look if i had to go home tomorrow i would consider everything that i have done so far already an amazing success uh this place feels like venice beach of of the arnold schwarzenegger era uh, muscle beach and um i say that because it's like it just feels like the mecca of strength sports, combat sports, fitness industries, people who really understand what it is to um, to be in the YouTube space and to be in the, the sports entertainment space. Um, the networking opportunities are blowing my mind. Uh, world's best everything is here. It's like this place has attracted truly the top tier talent across the board whether it's the athletes themselves, the coaches, um, the media pe media team behind it. You go into gyms and there's it's so evident that there's, uh, there's content creation going on everywhere at a very high level. Not awkward level like you might see back home for me, but everyone's switched, everyone's professional, everyone's a killer, everyone's the best at their game. So it's, it's been awesome. Um, have loved being on podcasts with Mark Boyd. Um, got more to come there. He, Mark Boyd's the guy who, uh, helped me with the bench press, which you guys would have already seen. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, it's been awesome. I, I've, I've got a bigger boost of motivation from the last two days than any other two days I've spent in the sport. And I wanted to thank everybody who's here, um, all the athletes, all the organizers, the king of the table guys, the core sports guys, everyone. You know who they all are. Larry, Don, Matt, Adam, um, the, the people behind it doing an amazing job. Uh, it's freaking awesome. So thank you to everyone doing that. Now, my match is... Uh, Coming up, a lot of people have asked me about the match. A lot of people are making comments talking about the the, the obscurities of the match. Um, it's very obscure, and I'll, I'll I'll speak very plainly and honestly about about this right now. I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I don't think Khaled's going to pull me. Uh, I say that because I think he's he's asked he's bit off too much, um, more than he can chew here. Schoolboy looks huge. Schoolboy looks phenomenal. Um, I know how dedicated he is, and I know what it means to be a dedicated arm wrestler. Um, I think he will be far, far, far too much for Khaled. As much as I respect Khaled, Khaled, last time Khaled pulled Schoolboy, Khaled was a lot bigger. Um, he's significantly smaller now. He's leaned up due to his MMA, and he's not as big as he was, and and Schoolboy is bigger, way bigger than he was. Um, Schoolboy is probably the person who's impressed me most just in terms of a physicality presence compared to what I had in my mind or had imagined. Um, now, because of this, I think Khaled will fight hard because he's he's a good competitor. He's, he's driven. Um, but I think he will get opened up very very aggressively his hand and wrist and arm will be exposed and I think he has a tendency to go to a king's move 
without pronation, which puts a lot of pressure on the, the bicep connections. And um, I think he's going to be very, very, very sore. Now, if Khaled had been able to pull off a victory against Schoolboy, and then he then goes on to face me to attempt to do the thing that he declared that he was going to do, which was beat both of us. He, he asked for both of us. He got both of us. He says he could do it. I genuinely don't think that's possible. I think it's uh, Schoolboy will be too much, and I think he'll be too sore to pull me. Now, Core Sports and everyone, I've been asking the question for a while, saying what happens, what happens if, what happens if, and um, Coach Ray's in the room. Coach Ray's in the room, and look, if there's anyone, <laughs> if there's anyone that uh, is, is a good story, is if there's anyone that is a good match, um, it's Coach Ray. It's a good match because I'm back at my weight, uh, which is substantially heavier than Ray, but uh, Ray's, Ray's a great arm wrestler, and we pulled on left earlier tonight, as you've seen, and um, I had stops there on left, which was great. Uh, I, couldn't, I couldn't win, but I was able to prevent being pinned for a decent amount of time. Um, that was on my left. My left is is a shadow of my right. Um, I'd love the rematch. I'm almost more excited about the prospect of that. The the match with Khaled, if he is in shape to pull me, um, I will do my best to give him the technical lesson that he so uh, so much wants. <laughs> And doesn't know it really. Um, but Khaled, uh, if I don't pull him, I want to, I want to roll with him uh, in 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 a wrestle, uh, maybe on Monday or something like that. But I genuinely like what I see in the man of Khaled. He uh, he's ambitious, super talented. I just don't think he realizes what he's up against. Schoolboy's a tank, and uh, he's gonna he's gonna open him up bad. And he's not going to want to pull me because he'll be too sore. It's too hard to do. It's not. It's yeah. So the contingency, Coach Ray, we've been pushing a little bit. Coach Ray and I, we've talked about it. Um, there's a good long story between Coach Ray and I that's going to be there for years to come. Um, hopefully, decades to come. And uh, this could just be another chapter in it. Um, let's see what happens with me at my heavyweight. 102, 103, I'm at somewhere around that phase at the moment. I don't even know what Ray is at, probably 87, 88, or something like that. So uh, we'll see. That could be the story uh, of where the night goes for me. Of course, I'm here to commentate. That was the first thing that I was I was hired to do for this event. I'm so very thrilled that my good buddy Jake Ward's here. He arrived today. Then I'm going to get to be able to share the commentary roles with him and Ray uh, I think I think Jake's going to be emceeing predominantly, and obviously, when I pull uh, Khaled, he'll he'll jump up there as well. I don't know, but uh, I'm so very grateful uh, for Jake being here as well. It's it's awesome. But Coach Ray, um, I genuinely am excited about the prospect of the story of us continuing. Uh, seeing what my version of Happy Me does uh, against Ray. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here. I just wanted to reflect. I'm super tired. I'm going to go grab some sleep now. Um, I've got videos to edit that I filmed today uh, that will come out shortly that are amazing videos. But I might do that tomorrow. I can't do it tonight. I'm too tired. Uh, but thank you to you guys as well, the YouTube supporters. Everything's growing really quickly at the moment. It's a very exciting time for me. Um, I love this career. I love this business. I'm grateful to every one of you, even even you guys who think I'm useless. I'm grateful to you too. Uh, I am. It's just the truth of it. All right, guys. Good night.